Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my February book haul, and I don't usually do monthly book hauls, I usually just do a book haul whenever I acquire a bunch of books that I want to share with you guys, but I decided that since I bought some books this month that I haven't yet shared with you guys, that I would just compile them all into one video for a February book haul. I've actually picked up quite a few interesting ones this month, so I'm very excited to see what you guys think, so I'm just going to get started. The first book is super random and weird and it's not even like a real fiction book it's a photography book and it's actually Drew Barrymore's book um find it in everything and basically it's a bunch of photos that she takes um she took them over like the course of a couple years or a year or something and it's basically just a bunch of pictures that have hearts in them somewhere so like here's a tree with a heart on it and I was at Barnes and Noble because I really wanted to get this book because I just love Drew Barrymore um I don't know I think she's just so like kind and like has like such a like nurturing beautiful spirit which sounds so lame but I just really like her and so I was looking for it at Barnes and Noble and I found this one and it's signed by Drew Barrymore so you can see she drew a little heart in a bee you can see that. So I was super excited and I was like, I'm obviously going to buy it because Drew Barrymore touched this and um, yeah. So I got this. I think it's just like a cute little inspirational book that I've been having fun looking at. So very happy about this purchase. The next book that I picked up you guys will probably find funny if you watched my last unboxing video and that is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. If you guys watched my last um, book unboxing video, you would have seen me open a box that was supposed to be containing this book but had a book called The Dune in it. Um, Barnes & Noble messed up my order and sent me the wrong book and I was filming while I opened the box and it was the wrong book and it was really funny and um, they sent me the right book. I got them to send it for me. They sent it to me for free too so they gave me my money back which was super sweet and like uncalled for but I really appreciate it. So I'm very excited about this book. I've heard so many great things especially from Jesse. Um, Jesse the reader you guys know if you watch him. He's obsessed with this book so I'm very excited to read it. I know so many people have enjoyed it. I've had real life friends recommend it to me so I'm really excited to get into this one and I'm, I don't know I just I'm excited I love this cover I got the hardcover so yes the next couple of books I actually picked up on the book outlet they were having a sale or something so I bought a couple books the first one is Elsewhere by Gabrielle Zevin I've seen this on book outlet for quite a while now but I finally decided to look up what it was about and I thought the premise seemed really interesting I guess it's about this girl who dies at a young age I don't know how old she was when she dies but she dies at a young age and then when you die you go to this place called Elsewhere where basically you age backwards so let's say she died when she was 14 a year will go by and she'll be 13 and then a year goes by and then she's 12 and then I don't know I don't I think that's all I really got from reading the description a while ago but I think that sounds so interesting and I'm really excited to see how this book kind of plays out so if any of you guys have read this or have heard great things about it let me know because I'm really interested to see what it's about I've heard a couple booktubers talk about it but no like huge rave reviews or anything so I'm excited to see for myself what this one's about the next book I picked up on book outlet was if I were you by Lisa Renee Jones I've heard a couple things here on booktube about this from um, actually Christine um, Pullman and his books which is quite weird because she doesn't usually read these type of books and I've also seen Hannah Bookworms Talk talk about it and I guess it's either a new adult or an adult book and it's kind of apparently like the style of Fifty Shades of Grey so it says on the back but Christine actually said that it was kind of like an adult version of Pretty Little Liars and I was a huge Pretty Little Liars fan when I was like 13 years old so I thought this might seem interesting and because I'm a fan of like you know new adult kind of genre I thought I might like it so I'm very excited it was a couple dollars so I figured why not and apparently it's a part of a series so who knows where this will go I'm not sure if I'll even like it if I'll pick up the rest of the series I'll let you guys know for sure and the last book that I actually picked up on book outlook that order is Landline by Rainbow Rowell and this is the only Rainbow Rowell book that I have not read so I'm very excited to read it I saw it on book outlet for like four dollars so I was like um yeah I'm buying it because at Barnes and Noble it's like twenty six dollars so I was really happy to see this on Book Outlet for so cheap and it's still in fabulous condition so I'm very excited to start it. I know I've heard so many great things about it. Apparently I'm pretty sure it's about a woman who's married and she can pick up this phone and talk to her husband in the past. Um, that's what I think it's about so I'm really excited. I think it's going to be really interesting and I'm a huge huge fan of Rainbow Rowell so I know I'm going to love it. The so next book that I got is a super duper duper exciting one and it actually just came in the mail yesterday from a pre-order and that is After Ever Happy by Anna Todd, the fourth and final after book. 
I don't even know. I'm so excited. I started it right when it came through. I like opened the box and ripped it open and threw the cardboard on the ground and just like started reading at the kitchen table because I was so excited. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy to have this in my hands. I think it's absolutely beautiful cover. It's probably my favorite cover out of all of the four. Um, but I'm just really happy that all of the series is finally out. I might be doing a full series review if any of you guys are interested because I know I get so many questions about after like every day of my life so whether it's on Twitter or YouTube you guys are always asking me about it so I would like to do a full review on the whole series if you guys are interested still let me know but yeah what is a Lara book haul without an after book this is gonna be the last book haul with an after book crazy right all my last book hauls I've literally had after books in them but yes I'm very excited to read this and just enjoy <laughs> and the last two books that I picked up I actually got at Target the other day I was just kind of browsing the book section and I came across a couple of things the first one is called a little something different by Sandy Hall I have not heard anything about this book I've never seen it on booktube but I just was immediately drawn to the cover because it's absolutely beautiful so I picked it up and I read the back and it seemed really cute it's about this girl named Leah and this guy named Gabe and they're in a creative writing class together and they just instantly click and they get each other and they have the same joke and they eat the same food and they're just like instantly have this connection but they're both kind of awkward and weird so they don't really know what to do but it's really obvious to everyone around them that they're falling in love so I thought that sounded like so cute so I was like that's definitely something I would want to read and it's so pretty and beautiful I just had to get it so very excited to see if I like this if you guys have heard of this or read it let me know definitely I'd love to hear any of your thoughts about it because it looks so cute. And the last book I have to share with you guys is 365 Days of Wonder, Mr. Brony's Book of Precepts by R.J. Palacio. I am so happy about this read. I never heard of this book. If you guys have read Wonder by R.J. Palacio, it's one of my all-time favorite books. I recommend anybody and everybody to go read it. If you have not read it, you should go read it. It's amazing. It'll change your viewpoint on life, and it'll change your viewpoint on people, and it'll be great. So you should go read it. Anybody, any age, read it. If you have read the book, you know that every single day in class, there's a new precept on the board in Mr. Brony's class. So this is basically a book of 365 different inspirational quotes or precepts. So it's just like a bunch of quotes and cute stuff. And there's a little bit of um, wonder stuff in there too. But really, it's just like quotes and inspirational stuff and cute pictures and I saw this and I didn't even know this was a thing until I saw it at Target and I just had to buy it because I love wonder so much and I just needed it so I'll read you guys what today says because why not today's the 27th yeah hold on it's not what happens to you but how you react that matters see that's a that's a good quote this is pretty sick. I love inspirational quote books and precepts and all that kind of stuff and I just think they're so inspiring and fun to read. And this I love because it's one every single day so I can go and read it every single day. And I'm just really excited. I really love this. It's beautiful. It has gold. It's gorgeous. So I'm very happy about this buy. So those are all of the books that I have bought in the month of February. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Leave me a comment about any books that you've recently picked up, what you're excited about reading in March maybe, what you have been reading. I, I love to hear it all. Yes, so I hope you guys all have a wonderful, wonderful day and I'll talk to you all very, very soon. Bye!